today we will be discussing virtual lan first of all we must discuss the outline of virtual lan general concept of virtual lan what is vlan why we use vlan different way to assign vlan membership spanning tree in vlan frame processing and 802.1q standard different kind of logical vlan architecture implementation detail of vlan topology discovery different vendor specific solution spectrum vlan manager implementation mib used then a concept of vlan what is vlan vendor specific solution in strategy so defining it is an issue vlan allow a network manager to look logically segment a lane into different broadcast domain multiple physical lane segment independent of physical location and can communicate as if they were on a common lane as figure one show figure physical view of a lane so you can see there is a router and the old diagram show the network bridge or switch and bridge or switch some pc are connected to an and then lan segment so you can see there are three lan segment or college and domain in one lane or broadcast domain Research, accounting, sales department are connected to the router. So you can see the lane. The whole lane is connected to router. So we divide it into V lane A, B, and A. The V lane A, B are connected to bridge or switch on the top, and V lane A, which contain two hub PC connected. is connected further to bridge or switch and then we lane b is our station is also connected to the switch why we use virtual lane by using we lane we can enhance the performance of the network the flow of data is increasing and speed is going to increase formation of virtual groups simplified administration reduce cost and provide security vlan membership membership by fort you can see vlan 1 is connected on port 1 vlan 1 connected port 2 vlan 2 connected port 3 vlan 1 connected port 1 membership by mac address membership by ip subnet address this is advantage of this method is that it does not allow for user mobility as per one vlan defined for port group so backbone connection multiple switches you can see switch 1 have 1 2 3 4 5 port Switch to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight port. VLAN A two PC are connected to port one two. VLAN B PC are connected to port three up to eight, and then one, two, three, and some other PC are. and different pcs are connected to different ports vlan membership by port membership by mac address membership by ic p or subnet address so vlan can get membership by port mac address or ip address so you can see the mac address in vlan number in the table it one Stages include no reconfiguration needed. Disadvantage: VLAN membership must be assigned initially. Performance degradation as member of different VLAN 
coexist on a single switch board <coughs> member by four member by mac address membership by ip subnet address ip subnet vlan 1 to advantage good for application base vlan strategy user can move a station eliminate the need for frame tagging it disadvantages performance looking for l3 address in packet less effective with protocols such as ipx decknet or apple talk unroutable protocols such as net bios frame processing in vlan environment role of bridges bridge on receiving data determined to which vlan the data belong either by implicit or explicit tagging at 02.1q the bridge also keep track of vlan member and a filtering database which it uses to determine where the data is to be set send all the bridges in the vlan should contain the same information on their respective filtering database picture topology of network with bridges layer 1 layer 2 bridge 1 4 6 layer 3 layer 5 bridge 5 3 2 layer 7 eligible lan segment b bridge or switch vlan a was station vlan b was station vlan c was station Spanning tree L1, L2, B6, B6, L3, L5, B5, B2, and L4. You can see in the diagram how they are connected. In below diagram, VLAN A spanning tree L3, L5, B5, B2, L4. In the same way, how they are connected. Filtering database membership information for a VLAN is stored in a filtering database static entry. Static filtering entry for every port, whether frame to be sent to a specific MAC address or group address and on a specific VLAN should be forwarded or discarded or follow dynamic entry. Static registration entry whether frame to be sent to a specific VLAN or to be tagged or untagged and which port are registered for that VLAN. Dynamic entry learned by bridges. Dynamic filtering entry group registration entry follow GVRP protocol. Dynamic registration entry taking at 02.1Q TPID TPID TCI 2 by 2 by address token ring and fiber distributed data interface FDDI tag header. SNAP encoded TPID TCI 8 by 2 by user priority 3 bit CFI 1 bit VID 12 bit VLAN architecture going forward infrastructure VLAN server based VLAN other detail of the report DCP with VLAN ATM with VLAN VLAN migration strategy automatic configuration of VLAN implementation detail of VLAN for topology discovery paper discovery of spanning tree in the virtual version different vendor specific solution Avava VLAN master application only work with Avava Cajun switches a Prisma spectrum VLAN manager it uses the cable Tron Discovery Protocol CDP to find all CDP compatible 802.1Q switches in a domain. Cisco VLAN Director use Cisco Discovery Protocol CDP. VLAN Director cannot manage and devices that do not run CDP. 3Com Enterprise VLAN Manager Gray Knight Open Source CAPI SDK2 Provision VLAN Configuration using SNMP. For Riverstone product MIB information MIB use RFC 1213 MIB bridge MIB RFC 1493 Q bridge MIB RFC 2674 bridge MIB use dot one Q STP port dot one Q PVID 
that one DSTP port state that one DSTP port designated root that one DSTP port designated bridge that one DSTP port designated port discover your spanning tree and VLAN step reduce the target virtual bridge LAN from an arbitrary IP address in the virtual bridge LAN automatically discover all the bridges in the target virtual bridge LAN collect spanning tree and VLAN related MIB variable from the discovered bridge using SNMP construct the spanning tree in the virtual bridge LAN and associate the spanning tree with VLAN implementation detail they have used a via KJN switches and the STP store in Prominet MIB bridge MIB Q bridge MIB from MIB table one mapping between proprietary and standard MIB variable collecting spanning tree related information IP address bridge address table two mapping IP addresses to bridge addresses implementation is construction of per VLAN spanning tree bridge address VLAN port number port state designated route designated bridge designated port table 3 show internet table for VLAN and spanning trees spanning tree been we explain separately in the lecture with very detail spanning tree of VLAN 12 as you can see figure 2 spanning tree for VLAN 12 base on table 3 you can see the IP addresses with the related port number thanks for watching please subscribe my channel for more informative videos